Hey Python programmers. So in this video, I'll be showing you the program to print Fibonacci series for a given number in Python. We'll use iterative method. Um, we can also use a recursive method, but we'll see that method later in, let, in our later videos. So for now, we'll see iterative method. So first of all, let's see what is Fibonacci series. So Fibonacci series is a series in which uh, next number is a sum of previous two number. Okay. So suppose uh, we have given an input as four, uh, okay. And uh, if we want to print the Fibonacci series of uh, for number four, then uh, the Fibonacci series for this is zero, one, one, and two. As you can see here, that uh, third number is a sum of this uh, last two numbers. Okay. Now, similarly for this two, this two is a sum of last two digit uh, numbers. Sorry, uh, which is one and one. Okay. And uh, in every Fibonacci series, uh, first two numbers is 0 and 1. Okay. So now let's start our program. So first of all, what we'll, what we'll do, we'll uh, take an input from user. So I'll just uh, uh, assign, uh, I'll just create one variable which is num and I'll just uh, take an input from user. So that is in uh, integer input. I'll convert that uh, input into integer. That's why I'm uh, doing int input and then I'll say enter number okay so now user will pass some numbers here and then let's add one uh, simple print statement here so let's say uh, below is a sequence or I can say Fibonacci sequence okay sequence okay now uh, what we'll do uh, we know that our first number in every Fibonacci series, our first number is 0 and 1, okay. So what we can do, uh, if uh, we can assign that number into some variable, so suppose a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1, okay. So uh, we are just assigning the initial values, okay. Uh, we can also assign that in a one single line which, which will be like a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1, okay. Okay, fine. Now what we will do, uh, we will... Uh, we'll uh, use one for loop and uh, we'll use range function so for i in range uh, 0 to n okay 0 to n or i can say number okay we are using number so we'll use num and then what we'll do uh, we'll check if uh, i is equal to or i can say i is less than or equal to 1 so suppose user had have, have, uh, entered 0 or 1 then what we'll do we'll just print that uh, number okay so we are just printing that. So if suppose user has entered zero, then we'll just print zero. If one, then we'll just print one. Okay. Otherwise, what we'll do, we'll uh, use else condition here. And then what we'll do, we'll create one variable, which will be result variable. And in that, what we'll do, we'll add the uh, last two numbers. Okay. Of the sequence. So we'll say a uh, plus b. Okay. So suppose we, we, uh, we have we have three as an input and uh, so our last two numbers will be this right so that will be a comma a and b and now we'll just add those uh, variable okay or number i can say then what we can do now we, our a will be this uh, sorry uh, this is the result right so now what we'll do our uh, uh, a will be this and b will be this okay so what is the uh, condition here so that will be uh, b is equal to a oh sorry a is equal to b <coughs> and uh, b is equal to result okay so now we are just uh, passing a and b uh, uh, towards the uh, this result okay so that is the thing now we can just print that result here okay now we are just printing that result uh, okay so now our program is completed now let's just run our program so we will pass 5 okay so as you can see we have successfully printed our fibonacci series so 0 1 1 2 and 3 okay so this 3 is the uh, summation of last two numbers which is 1 and 2 so that's all for this video uh, in our next video we will see the recursive method thank you for watching and i'll see in the next video bye bye